We've been diving with Dark Spirit now and we've had a great time with you. Tell us a little bit about you. How long have you been diving now? Uh, here in Provincia, about eight, nine years. My family lives in Australia, so now I'm diving back in Australia. I grew up in Mauritius, yes. surrounded with water, and always underwater. That was my passion also, to be able to, to snorkel and diving came after long. We have some change before I left Mauritius to Australia. The color of the clothes was uh, it was more beautiful and i guess with global warming i don't know something happened i didn't know about uh, crown or two the reef conservation came along and i was explaining about this the reason why all the crows was dying and stuff Explain a little bit about the kind of thorn. What, what is it that it's a starfish, right? It's a starfish. Tell us yeah. about what, what, is, what does it do? What is the impact? The impact is like when we saw like a cross with a kind of dot and we saw it was bleaching around. And the, the color of the cross was changing to blue. And then that's why we have been chat with the reef conservation. And uh, they were teaching us a little bit about this. But it was a disaster. In one spot of the spot of diving, I used to see like hundreds of them. Okay, so and then it had a big impact on big the... Big impact, and a very big impact, yeah. So how did they get rid of it? Uh, uh, they came with a solution, they start with vinegar and try to inject them. But we were not allowed to touch them before. They had to come with us and you had to count them underwater. That was a big job from the reef conservation. And we know now if we see more than five in one spot, we had to call them. And since they've done that, has the reef recovered? It, it recovered. But only things have changed is I believe like after COVID, we used to try to diving everywhere and try to call reef conservation and just to check the spot and then Covid, we couldn't die for three, four months. Yes. First lockdown, yes. back to water. That was hundreds of them everywhere. So they came back. They quickly. came back quickly because even the Greek conservation couldn't get back in the water. Yes. Because the government said nobody's nobody is allowed yeah. in the water and the beach. And we had it was an emergency call, I guess. Yes. And we came and tried to start to inject all of them. But now it's not getting better because I see few of them. One in one dive site, you can see one or two. That's fine for us. Lockdown, it was uh, kind of giving the sea a break yes. from us yes. divers, boats around. Of course, we are an island which is tourist. Uh, we could get some money from yes. the tourists. The hotels was the lockdown. Everyone was fishing illegally in the water. So it could like even to sell it for us for selling uh, shell. Killing all these small species yes. just to sell it or eat it, I don't to know. Make a living, just to make a living. To exactly. Home. And it was not just the crown of thorn, it was also that yes. part of lockdown, people needed money. Yes. And uh, now we're back to normal, I guess. We can say normal. We're more like uh, under control of it. So more we underwater, less uh, illegal uh, stuff happening. Yes. See, because yes. We do we, watch it. We you watch it all the time. Yeah. We talk to people, we talk to people on the beach. We say, you have to, this is a, a wonderful thing to do in the water, but uh, especially with rubbish, plastic bags, turtle in plastic bags because it looks like jellyfish. Yeah. We are more like aware of that now, and people are more aware. We try to get the Mauritian people died okay. because now they know, oh, okay, this is beautiful you have to, you keep, have it. to keep it yes okay. okay the more mauritians die right. the more they realize that this is something that's this is important something to important. your people yes. and to the to the of island. course of okay, course that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. so i'm interested to know when you used to snorkel when you were young yeah. then you moved to australia, australia. Yeah. and then you came back yeah. what is the difference between australia the, 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 and here yeah. Uh, Australia is a beautiful country, I think. I used to die in Gold Coast and uh, East Coast of Australia. Back then it was beautiful, uh, 20 years ago. And it started bleaching also. We didn't know about that. Some uh, research can say it was bleaching because of the global warming. Uh, as you know, one degree more it can kill yes. the cause. Yes. Even one is less. Especially when I was young, when you snorkel around the island, 
It was less people, less tourists, less fishing, less of boats. And I believe my mind saying that uh, more you can have boats around surrounded the island, more pollution you're gonna get. It's not also about sunscreen, it's not also about rubbish, it's also about fuel. Though this engine are killing coal, my project. Yeah. And of course you have to make a living. We start now saying like okay. Start getting growing now, the people start growing, okay? We all work together now to more uh, people like aware of what's happening in the water and also what's happening around the island, not just the water. Because once you go camping or go uh, picnic on the beach, you throw your plastic bag, you throw your rubbish, now you want everyone to know you need that. Yes. Okay? Without this whole beautiful water, there's no choice. What I'm getting from you is that's the message that you want to yeah. say. The message is to Mauritians, we have something special. Look after what we have. Take care with plastics and whatever because this is the one thing that brings in money and brings in the tourists. And what I heard you say is there needs to be a balance between all these people that are bringing in the rubbish and the fuel and whatever versus having a balance between and wild Is there anything else that you want to tell people that are listening to this? We have a beautiful country. We want to keep it like, as clean as possible, okay? less pollution. And we want everyone to know where all we need to keep this clean. Otherwise, less animals, uh, less fish, polluted, polluted water. We don't want that. Everyone is trying to help each other on pollution. We can help with our guidance. We can talk to other people about uh, you have to keep this clean, otherwise, finish for you. Yeah, that's true. Though. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, pleasure.